Hi guys, I am back. I am so happy to be back on YouTube. I'm so sorry, honestly. I miss you guys so much, but I've been working on this for so freaking long that I wanted this to be my first video back. First of all, can you notice anything weird? <laughs> yes, I'm not in my regular room where I usually shoot. I'm actually in Bogota, Colombia. I traveled today. I just got here today. That's why I look like a crazy person. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, that's why I look like a crazy person. I just got here today and I'm tired and it's freezing and I was not expecting this. So the reason why I am doing this video is because I came here to get my smile get a smile design i need to do i've always been self-conscious of my teeth like if you look at my videos if you look at my pictures they, they look fine honestly they're fine it's just an insecurity that i have that i want them whiter and bigger um and to fix like some teeth in the bottom that really bother me so the quickest solution was a smile design and sadly, in the United States, it's extremely expensive to get a smile design, even if you have insurance because that doesn't cover it. So, what, am I supposed to be stuck with my teeth like that for the rest of my life? No. So, thank you to a friend of mine, Valentina. She recommended me Dr. Eduardo Torres here in Bogota. And I'm here! I packed my bags, I said bye to my fiance, bye to my dogs, and I came here all by myself. I'm going to be here for nine days and I'm gonna record every day what I did. I got here today and I already got a procedure done. That's it, we're not wasting time. We're not wasting time. I wanna be here the least time possible because I hate being alone. Play landed, I got a, someone to pick me up and then drop me off at the Airbnb that I'm staying, which is actually super freaking cute. I got an Uber and I went to my dentist office. I might be talking a little weird. <laughs> it's because they numb my face, so like, my nose and here, all this is numb. So if I smile, I smile a little weird. <laughs> so today what they did is they did x-rays and they took a picture of my mouth. They put it in this big TV, which I'm gonna post here. And that's how my teeth were. Yeah, it doesn't look as bad through YouTube, but this were my teeth up close. And I wasn't happy about them. I wasn't happy about the color, the sizing. I had like a chip, chip tooth like here and whatever so today i got teeth cleaning okay just like a basic teeth cleaning and they burned my gums to level them to, so they can all be the same it's so hard for me to smell right now but this is my smell now okay i don't know if you can tell of my gums and of and my crooked teeth there so yes that's how my smell looks right now they haven't done anything to my actual teeth um day one accomplished tomorrow let's see what happens okay so day two is done so we're done with day two and it wasn't bad at all what we did today was um we did whitening the first session of whitening um and then oh and they also gave me kind of like an invisalign very similar to invisalign to kind of adjust one tooth that i have here and the bottom ones pretty much just so they can be as straight as they can for my smile design like i said your teeth don't have to be super straight to be able to get smile design 
also if you have really messed up teeth there's another type of smile design which is called like which is with veneers i'm doing one um with um i don't know how to pronounce it honestly in english but it's um diseño de sonrisa con resina that's what i'm doing i'm not doing veneers anywhere but if your teeth are really messed up then honestly or you want them to last even longer or, or be even wider then definitely um, smile design with veneers is good for you but i'm not a dentist so you would have to contact the dentist and figure it out but i am so happy because my teeth look so freaking white that i could even imagine like and this is only round one i'm gonna do two more whitening so a total of three whitening it didn't hurt they just put um something on my tooth and they, they just left me there not even with the light nothing it was super strange but i was super comfortable i was on my phone listening to like a podcast so yeah successful day it was super quick and i'm super happy so let's see what we have for day number three so it's day three and we did the second whitening I don't know if you can tell obviously because you guys are so far but it wasn't bad at all it wasn't painful it was just like yesterday 20 minutes no light super chilling honestly loved it i really love them they treat me so good and it's like an in and out you get there you're in and you're out which is great because i kind of want to explore a little bit of bogota so yes so day three was also successful we just did a the whitening I still have to use the retainer until the day of my smile design and even then I'm gonna have to use another retainer to make sure my teeth stay straight since my teeth are not straight so if you don't have straight teeth you still can get a smile design like I've said before you have to talk to the dentist first and see what he suggests and then you make a decision but i'm super excited now so i guess i'll get back to you guys on monday after my third whitening session so let's see we're almost there okay so we are at day what i don't even know what day is today but i had the weekend off from the dentist so i was able to explore a little bit of bogota um, i was able to see my cousin and so on so it was good to have the weekend off from all this dental stuff um so then today i was scheduled to go in for my third whitening okay and it was super early whatever i went they did my whitening and once I, it was done the doctor sees me and then he's like you're ready you're ready for your smile design your gums healed perfectly you're ready if you want to you can do them now i was like i looked at him like what and he's like how much anxiety do you have because i told him i have anxiety like i suffer from anxiety and panic disorder that i don't like people on top of me i'm claustrophobic and then it's happened to me in so many surgeries that i just panic and i stand up and when i shouldn't like whatever so i kind of gave him like a heads up and like a warning I said you know what don't worry i got it let's do it today so he's like okay come back at two so i was able to come back home um i ate whatever i told i meditated <laughs> my essential oils all over my body so I can like relax um, so I got to the dentist's office um, they took me in right there um, and then he sat me down and he's like okay now let's talk how big do you want them and what color do you want them like how white do you want them so I was like wow that's a hard question you know like like what's your he said something like in Spanish he said something like what's your dream teeth or something like that but he said it in spanish so obviously it sounds better but then i'm just thinking and i'm like bro like i don't have a pinterest board of teeth like yes i'm obviously a freak with teeth because i did fly all the way from the u.s to colombia to get my teeth done but like i don't have a pinterest board with like inspo of teeth you know what i mean so that was a really hard question to answer i was just i just told him like I obviously I want them big not like huge like horse big but I definitely want them big I want to see a difference because my teeth are normally small um, and my gum is too big for my teeth so I look like weird um, and I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna lie like my teeth were not bad like they were never bad F by the way I never used bra braces ever in my life so to not to never have braces have to ha use braces i think my teeth were fine it's just that they were too small for me and i smile like i smile like with my gums so 
I don't know. It was just an insecurity of mine. So I just said, fuck it. Let's do this. Um, so I told them, yeah, definitely do them bigger. Um, do them big, just not too big. And I want them white, but not like... I don't know, extremely white. Like I want them whiter than what I had after the third whitening. Like I want them like a shade lighter. Um, mainly because this type of um, smile design, which is smile design with composite. I learned that today because I, I'm pretty sure I've said it wrong throughout the video, I'm not sure. But it, the, the, what I'm getting done is smile design with composite. Um, so the composite is not like a veneer so the veneer never changes color and it lasts forever this tends to change color like not like your normal tooth like not like your normal teeth would but they still tend to go a little bit darker depending what you use and stuff so i was just like okay i like how my teeth were with my last whitening i'm like go a shade a shade and a half lighter just so like with time they could still be good so he's like okay perfect so he sat me down, put on my meditation music, <laughs> central oils, laid in that, in, that, in that bed thing, I don't even know how to call it, in that chair. And then he put one tooth. And then he's like, okay, tell me if that's the white, the white color that you like. And I saw it and I'm like, oh my God, yes, perfect. It was white, but still natural white. So I was like, perfect, that's the color I want. He sat me and honestly, the whole procedure took two hours. It was like this super freaking fast i was so relieved because you know like my anxiety and like time passes and like my pills and i'm just like <sighs> i'm like giving myself a heart attack for absolutely no reason because there was no pain by the way no pain at all no injection not that thing that holds your mouth forever nothing literally he would just go tooth by tooth that's it. So I was never, at no point was I uncomfortable. At no point did I feel pain. At no point did he use anesthesia. It was so easy, so smooth, and he was so fast, and I was so, so happy. So then, um, once we finished, um, he, the assistant took me um, to another room, and then she kind of like filed all the way around. Like, sorry, all the way inside, you know, just so I don't have any, like, um, just so I'm not uncomfortable and with the bite and so on so she did that and i was fine i think i think i'm biting okay i guess tomorrow whatever so tomorrow i go in and like i don't want to show you guys i'm gonna smile for you guys but I, i'm not gonna show you guys so close yet because they're not done so today we did the design but we're not done yet tomorrow we do he has to file them like i, I want him to file like this too a little bit um, and then he has to file them because the tooth is really like thick right now um, because of the material. So what he does is he leaves the material um, for 24 hours or for some time just so the color can stay and then he files them down to regular kind of tooth size. By the way, I have had a lot of people ask me if it messes up your teeth. It does not mess up your teeth. Veneers mess up your teeth because they have to put them in little like knobs and then put a porcelain porcelain i don't know how to pronounce that word a fake tooth on top so that's why they filed your tooth with composite they don't touch your teeth at all like i told them to file one of them that they was here to file them down that i was fine with that just because it was still kind of out with the design so i told them go ahead and file them down but they don't do anything to your teeth your teeth literally if i take this out my teeth will be perfectly fine no pain i never felt pain nothing and they look bomb mm, i can smile now <laughs> i mean i've never had an issue smiling you know but still i mean i guess this makes me feel a little more comfortable so like i said tomorrow is the last day of the treatment and that's it i mean i think we're good so it will be daytime so i won't have to sit in a little corner because there's no good light in this airbnb <laughs> um i would i will document the final results and i will do close-ups okay so you guys can see and then before and afters so i'm so excited i really can't wait okay guys we are done today was my last day of my smile design with composite and i am so freaking happy you guys saw that I was super happy yesterday, honestly. They looked freaking bomb. I still have to get used to them because they're obviously bigger than mine. So I definitely have to get used to them. But I'm so happy because today they filed them like I said they would. They polished them so now they're like shiny. Now they look like real teeth. So yes, this is 
just my smile. Yay, from now on, I'm gonna have the perfect smile. Um, I'm so happy, honestly. I have to say thank you so much to my dentist, Dr. Eduardo Torres. Um, he's located here in Bogota. Well, here because I am in Bogota right now. But yes, he is located in Bogota, Colombia. And his studio is called Healthy Smiles. And like I said, I'm so happy. I'm gonna show you guys um, before and afters um, videos of my teeth. And a close up of mine. I'm so happy. So, so happy. I smile perfectly. I feel super good. I'm not gonna lie. I feel so good. The process was super easy. I totally recommend you guys, if you have some insecurities, please check him out. I'm gonna tag his um, Instagram too so you guys can see the bomb work he does, like that my dentist does. He's amazing, honestly. I'm so happy. I'm honestly so thankful. It's crazy. So, yeah, and that's it, guys. Like, please, um, if you like this video, give me two thumbs up and if you have any questions please comment below i am more than happy to give you more information to answer whatever i can like i said i am not a dentist but i can talk to you guys about my experience and well you guys be the judge i mean check out this smile check out this smile hold on i need to get closer like check out this smile <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I hope this was helpful because when I was trying to do this procedure I couldn't find anything online so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget two thumbs up love you guys